For the longest time in GTA Online, I've wanted a police update. Like, role-playing as a cop in GTA Online is something that I, I really do wish happens in the near future. Lately, I've been playing around with the LSPDFR mod, and I'm having a ton of fun, and I'm just imagining that in online with other players, how much better it could be. In this video, I'm going to be going over an insanely detailed police concept update by a guy called DJ Stiffmeister. I will leave a link to like the original forum post in the description. You can go check it out. Also, if you do end up liking this idea, send it to Rockstar, email it to them, like the video, maybe they'll see it. If anything even close to this DLC concept that I'm going to share with you guys comes out for GTA Online, then that would just be amazing. Starting everything off though, the name for this concept update would be the GTA Online Slightly Corrupt Cops Update. And the description, crime can exist without the law, and who better to enforce it than a middle-aged and slightly below average corrupt police officer. The LSPD is now hiring scrubs like you to put dirty criminal scum behind bars in the most controversial way possible. Enlist now and get all of the perks of being a cop in Los Santos like stealing vehicles from not so innocent daily commuters without any punishment. To actually become a cop you go to the character selection menu which can be found under the online tab in the start menu and once you're there you will be given an option to make a third character. This third character will be the police officer and then you can change your appearance however you want. Once you make the character, it will have a little cutscene where it shows you arriving at the airport, where you were then greeted by Steve Haynes, and you were driven to the Mission Row Police Station. You were then introduced to Howard Tucker, who is the Chief of Police at the Mission Row Police Station, who hands you your badge and is given you the rank of officer. Similar to how GTA Online begins, there would be a slight introduction or a tutorial where this Tucker will take you through different events of training. The first one will take place at the gun range where you're handed a pistol and you're instructed to hit all the targets. Getting a gold medal will also give you a reward. And then after the gun range, you were taken outside and behind the wheel of a police cruiser, which then a report of an armed robbery in downtown Los Santos comes through the radio and describes the getaway car as being a red sports car. You were then instructed to go to the area and on the way you see the suspect's vehicle. After turning on the police lights, the suspect's vehicle starts to speed up. You were then tasked with chasing the vehicle and ramming it off the side of the road. Once the suspect has been neutralized, the criminal steps out the car with his hands up and you are then instructed to arrest the man bringing him back to the police station. After that, you were given a pistol or a service pistol if you got gold on the gun range training, a nightstick, a stun gun, and a pair of handcuffs, and then you were sent to free mode. Now in free mode, there would be two separate modes for cops. There would be an off-duty mode and an on-duty mode. When you're off-duty, free mode is basically like it is now. However, you can still arrest people and call for backup. But to become on duty, you would go into the interaction menu and select the police option and you would set it to on. Once you do that, you are prompted to drive to your police garage and get into a police vehicle. On duty would give you alerts on your screen when a player in free mode gains a wanted level over two stars. You can then choose to hunt that player down and arrest them or neutralize them to gain a bonus. You can also take part in new free mode events as a police officer as well as stop players from delivering stolen vehicles and other illegal goods. You can also choose to kill fellow police officers, but choosing to do so will give you a wanted level of four stars and will get you placed off duty with a 12 hour penalty. For the VIP stuff, you would be able to intercept briefcases from those events and deliver them back to, back to the police station as evidence for a bonus as well. Just that alone, it sounds pretty damn awesome, but it gets even better. So when players actually have a wanted level and you decide to chase them down, everything else on the radar will disappear except for the suspect's icon and the police station icon. Once you get near the player, you can either choose to kill them or arrest them, and the player that you're chasing can choose to either surrender or keep running. Now killing or arresting that player will gain you a government funding bonus, but an arrest will always gain you more, and that's kind of where the stun gun comes into place so you can stun them, and then you can go arrest them without actually killing them. And to gain a bonus for arresting the player, you must get them in the back of your car and drive them back to the police station. Now he mentions that killing or arresting them will gain you government funding bonus, and that would be a new currency that would be added to the game. And government funds are basically money you get for being a police officer that will allow you to purchase police weapons or vehicles or special upgrades to cars or gear. And government funding would be earned 
from police missions, from raids, from free mode events, PvP jobs, and arrests. He says during a free mode event which requires you to deliver evidence, like money, back to the police station you can choose to keep some for yourself or you can choose to keep all of it. If you do however, you will be rewarded with less government funds as well as less RP. So you kind of have a choice here, at, you know, if you want more money, like real money to buy other stuff or if you want police funds to sort of further you more into your police work. Getting into the ranks, he says that while playing as a cop in GTA Online, you can rise through the ranks of the police system by gaining RP. The ranks are as follows. There's Officer 1, Officer 2, Officer 3. Then there's Detective 1 to 3, Sergeant 1 to 3, Lieutenant 1 to 3, and then Captain 1 to 3. And then the last three are Commander, Deputy, Chief of Police, and then the Chief of Police. Again, so far, this sounds pretty damn awesome, but we got even more. So if you are playing as a cop, you were no longer to do regular contact missions. However, now there would be police missions, which usually involve you retrieving evidence, chasing down criminals, as well as making arrests, and then ranking up will gain you access to new police missions. And the new update, since Rockstar loves their adversary modes, would feature a new adversary mode called Hostage Rescue, in which one team, the cops, have to try and rescue the hostages from captivity by the second team, the criminals. In addition to that new adversary mode, he says this concept update would bring two new free mode events. The first one is called Hold the Cash, in which a big dump of cash is left somewhere in Los Santos. Regular players can fight to the death to take it for themselves, but cops can work together to bring the cash back to a police station as evidence to receive in-game cash, funds, and RP, or they can choose to keep a little themselves. The second free mode event coming with this new update is called Deliver the Stash where a car with drugs is placed somewhere on the map, and regular players can get in the car and deliver it for cash and RP, but cops can choose to deliver it as evidence to the police station for government funds. This next bit I don't think will ever come just because he says that it's kinda like the cop version of heists, and I don't, that's just a lot of work, but still, I'm gonna talk about it because they do sound amazing. So these would be raids. Coming with this update is five raids, which will be replacing heists if you choose to play as a cop. Raids are unlocked after receiving an office at the police station, which is gained through reaching rank Detective 1. Once you reach the rank, you will get a call from Chief Tucker, who informs you about an investigation he wants you to carry out. Here are the five raids with their descriptions. So there's the Fleeka job bust, which requires two players, and following the robbery of a Fleeka bank near the Bonham Canyon, the LSPD received an anonymous tip involving a bunch of wannabe bank robbers who planned to hit another Fleeka bank in Pillbox Hill. Investigate the tip and choose a way to catch the criminals with their pants down. The next one is drug trafficking bust. It requires four players. No one knows how drugs are being brought into Los Santos, but we always had a feeling it would be through the port of LS. And now one of our insiders is confirming. You have two jobs, catch those criminal scum and don't mess up. The next one, convoy breakout bust, again requires four players. Looks like the man in charge of the drug op involving the ports was a lot more high profile than we thought. We just got orders to move him to Bolingbrook, but our insider gave us more info regarding a breakout before he was not so tragically terminated by the drug traffickers. Do anything you can to make sure you stop the breakout from happening. The fourth one is Blaine County Drug Op Bust. After the LSPD horrendously failed trying to bust wanted man Trevor Phillips, the LSPD now turns to you and your squad. Lead an investigation in order to find out where Mr. Phillips is hiding all his drugs as well as to arrest the man himself. Caution, the man is armed and extremely dangerous. And then finally the last one is the Downtown Terrorist Plot, which the FIB is called and they want you. They just picked up wind about a serious terrorist attack involving the highest tower in Los Santos, the Maze Bank Tower. Work alongside with Agent Haynes in order to stop the terrorists from achieving their goal in the most patriotic way possible. To sort of round out this concept DLC, I'm not going to be talking about everything else because he just goes into some like new vehicles and new weapons. Again, you can go check all this stuff out in the description. But he does mention that there would be a police garage where you can get a bunch of cars to be sort of like their police versions and you can also upgrade them. In your interaction menu, I guess similar to like the Securo serve, there would be a police option where you would have the option to go either on or off duty as well as you can choose to call for backup from the police, the noose, and the military. You can also call for a helicopter and boat pickup. All of these options will cost government funds. He does go on to mention a few new weapons, which would be awesome. 
and then again the new vehicles police officers won't be able to buy pegasus vehicles but can still buy regular cars clothing apartments weapons and a yacht regular players will not be able to take part in raids or police missions once the player reaches the rank of chief of police they can choose to change which station they operate at including sheriff stations police officers can't have an active personnel vehicle while on duty and can't have an active patrol vehicle while off duty and then police officers won't have access to criminal contacts like Simeon, Martin, and Lamar, as well as Pegasus, but will have access to a new contact called LSPD, where they can request police vehicles like boats and helicopters. So, I know that was a ton, but this was by far the coolest and the best sounding concept idea I've ever seen for a police DLC in GTA Online. Again, if you would like to see anything like this, like if this just interests you at all, Tweet this video at Rockstar, email it to him, like the video so more people see it, do whatever you want. I mean, there's no true way of knowing if Rockstar ever plans on doing something like this, but the more people who say they want it, then you never know what happens in the future. But anyway, that is it with this video. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Let me know what you think of this awesome concept DLC in the comment section below. But as always, see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.